Hey everybody, this is Landon Raleigh, otherwise known as the guy who cuts you off at four-way stops. And as some of you may know, it's award season, the time of year where everyone who should have won lost and everyone who won should not have been nominated at all. The Oscars were hosted last Sunday. It was hosted by Chris Rock at Dolby Theater in Hollywood. 23 people went home with a well-deserved Oscar. That includes CODA, which stands for Child of Deaf Adults. That won Best Picture. Jessica Chastain came home with Best Actress for her role as Tammy Faye in The Eyes of Tammy Faye. For all of you Billie Eilish fans, she won Best Original Song for her song No Time to Die in the hit film Phineas. Best Animated Feature goes to Disney's Encanto. Best Costume Design goes to Cruella, the smash hit I never bothered to watch. And are you ready for this? Dune came out winning a total of six awards, including Best Cinematography, Best Visual Effects, Best Production Design, and Best Sound. And Will Smith came home with Best Actor for his role in King Richards. But that is not all he came home with. After a joke from Chris Rock directed at Will Smith's wife, Will Smith walked up to the comedian and smacked him across the face. <laughs> Ouch. He proceeded to go back to his seat and yell profanity at Chris Rock, telling him to keep his wife's name out of his mouth. Chris Rock did not retaliate, but they both did apologize after the event for their actions. And in this week's reward-related news, the Grammys were hosted this Sunday at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. There were a total of 90 winners overall, including big names like John Batiste for Best Album, Doja Cat and SGA for Best Pop Duo, Tyler the Creator for Best Rap Album, and Bruno Mars with Leave the Door Open for Best Song. And for all of you country song enthusiasts, Chris Stapleton won Best Country Song for his song Cold. And that's all for the reward-related news. If you think any of these actors or artists shouldn't have won, don't worry because you are likely in the majority. I am Landon Raleigh, otherwise known as the guy that swears the moon landing was fake. And back to you guys.